Hey everyone, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. We're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale here with uh, ASP Director of Training and CMO Neil. And today I wanna to bring you a gear review on these rubber dummies. Big Tech's Outdoors has holsters, accessories, optics, and other parts that you need as a self-defender. I'm one of his customers and I recommend him highly. Check out the page on our website with our favorite deals. Full disclosure, Rubber Dummies is not a sponsor of Active Self Protection. They did send me these two dummies um, as demo units. So they were like, hey John, we wanna know what you think about these. They sent them to me. They're a couple hundred bucks each, okay? So that is some kind of thing. They don't, they're not gonna get these back. I mean, they're, you're not gonna use them once they're shot up, right? So I guess in that sense, I was, um, you know, compensated in some way, but I, I mean, I, I can't eat these guys, so they are what they are. Um, they're not a sponsor, blah, blah, blah. We've yes. been shooting these up today. Let's say yet. Yet. Okay, so Neil's working on them. <laughs> um, uh, we've, we've shot these guys up today. Yeah. Uh, now, really what this is, is this is basically, if I, if I turn this guy around, you can kind of see on the back, it's just a, a hard kind of a chewed up tire rubber, very much like the backstop here, but molded, right? So this one has a little head box and you can uh, use a, a pin and pin these little uh, goo, um, you know, uh, liquid things in so it splats out the back. Uh, if you can see that, has one in the chest box as well. But that's not how we're using them, right? So how I'm using them, because I don't want to clean up a bunch of liquid off the floor of an indoor range, um, is we are using them here as uh, uh, shot spotters. So you can't spot your shots because it's got a bunch of shot up t-shirt on it. But what we do is, as you've seen this on the channel, is that you've lifted this up and now you can spot your shots. But one of the things that I do like and what I want you to see is the fact that, yeah, I've shot here and I've shot here, but there's no bullet hole there. So they're kind of self-healing targets. Yeah, they, yeah, you can't, I mean, you can see the dead center of the shot right there is where it went in and there's nothing there. Right, That's so interesting. Um, I think that that in this vein, I find them to be a useful tool for that. Now I know people are gonna use them as well. Um, they have some that have some more depth to them and you can use those for off center hits and those kinds of things. And you know, when you've got a guy who's not facing you, this guy here who's not the you know depth, he doesn't have that depth, would be a little harder to try to get in off the sides because you're gonna miss down this way pretty fast. So Think you could do it you certainly could do it in the head zones here because you have a little bit more of of trying to get into the cranial vault through the side here but you get to the ear hole obviously and, and anything behind that you're going to get a miss rather than uh, right. being able to spot what's going on there would i as a regular private citizen uh, spend a couple hundred bucks on having one of these i think it's useful um i think it's useful for your dry fire dojo i think that um I mean, if you got a bunch of money and you don't know what to do with it and you're like, you know, hey, I want to have a cool shooting tool. Or if you have access to a range where you get private ranges where you can drag them out. The other part of this, these guys are heavy, man. I mean, this stuff, you know, think about this. This is like probably as much rubber as a tire has in it, you know, a yep. regular passenger car tire. So I'd say this setup with a steel base and the pipe and all that stuff in the base to it, I'd say probably weighs 50 pounds. Uh, I was going to say 35. But, 35, 40 pounds. I mean, but I'm tougher than you are. Yeah, okay. So. so, you know, you're a bigger, stronger man than I am. Um, and so I, I would say, you know, again, not very portable, obviously it's portable, but you know, it breaks down. So you can take yeah, it breaks down and comes off, but, and all that stuff. Um, but, but for your average private citizen, I don't know for a range, man, I think you should have a few of these. I think yeah. that, uh, as a, as a teacher, we definitely like it. I'm going to use that with this drill, with this shot spotting drill, um, you know, spray it down, put an A zone on it, put a t-shirt on it. And I think it really teaches students something that I think is pretty cool. So we're going to have, uh, at least one of these guys that we're going to have to figure out how he gets from A to B with us might end up, you know, getting shipped via UPS right. or whatever, uh, where we're going. I do think, uh, it does a great job of showing anatomical head hits here. So, you know, you don't have to go, oh, okay. Okay, so you know you want to hit him somewhere in the ocular cavity here. Well, you just show him. Look, look, dude, hit him in the eyeballs and the nose. That's where you want to shoot him, um, and and we go from there. So, um, quick hit gear review on this. It, it takes hits. I mean, I, we've shot it up a couple hundred rounds, and you yeah. can't even tell. Just spray them over, right, and rock and roll. Yeah, just throw a little white paint on there, and then they they just shoot. They, they just shoes off and shows you the shots. So you can do it without the shirt if you want, but I don't. I think the shirt and the covering adds more value to it. Yeah, I think it really adds something you know? to it. Um, I don't know what you think, worth a couple hundred bucks? I absolutely think so. I, I'm going to have one of these. Yeah, okay. So, um, you know, again, if you're not getting to shoot much right now, maybe you spend this money on dry fire tools or whatever. Uh, for when you get to shoot, I think this adds a realism. It shows me what the anatomy looks like, makes me hit for small targets, especially if you put a t-shirt on it, something like that. Shows me what the head box is and does that in unique ways. Now, could you do some of the same thing here with just a, you know, a, a paper target? Yeah. I think you could. I think that, again, I'm going to buy 100 of these uh, or more before I buy one of these. Um, right. I'm, I'm, you know, so I could take this to the range again and again and again. I'm not... 
He, I wonder if I should be worried about it having lead accumulation, but if you're shooting full metal jacketed bullets, probably not. Um, they're just passing right through it, so I don't think that it should do that. Now, that said, I'm going to load it back in the box when I take it home, right. uh, rather than just throw it in the back of the car and see if anything gets around. Um, you know, I, again, I don't have any financial connection to them. I think they're pretty cool. I think that, you know, if, if you're looking for a cool tool to add a little bit more realism to your shooting, uh, you put a ball cap on him, you know what I mean? Sunglasses on him. You know, of course, you can shoot him with the sunglasses on. He ain't going to have those sunglasses on. You could put a Rona mask on him, right? Yep. Do those kinds of things so that you can see a little bit more accurately. And I will say, again, hanging a T-shirt on this guy, really easy. Hanging a T-shirt on this, darn near much more difficult. You know, you staple it on or something like that, but it's going to look weird and hang funky and all those things. Right. So I think this makes for a pretty realistic tool. You decide if it's worth a couple hundred bucks.